Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're using a Samsung phone and you're not using these features, then trust me, you're not using your phone to its full potential. So Samsung hides some of the most powerful customization, security and emergency features deep inside the settings, and most people either don't know about them or never bother to turn them on. So today I'm going to walk you through seven Samsung features you should enable right now with real life situations where these features actually matter not just tech talk. So let's set a challenge. Let's try to hit 300 likes on this video. The more like you give, the more YouTube pushes the video to others, which helps the channel grow and allows me to bring you more new and useful content. And here's the crazy part. Only 13.5% of you are subscribed. That means most of you are watching, but not subscribing. Subscribing is free, it's just one click, and you're already getting value. So please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's jump straight into feature number one. So feature number one is where you can change the language on your Samsung phone. So imagine this, you accidentally changed your phone's language and suddenly you can't understand anything on screen. Or maybe you bought a Samsung phone from another country and it came set in a language you don't speak. Maybe in another situation, you're trying to learn a language, a new language, and you want to force yourself to see it every day. So most people think they need to reset the phone but you don't need to do that. So Samsung allows you to change your entire system language directly from settings. So you can also add multiple languages and even switch between them easily. So the system menus, apps, and even the system notifications follow the language you choose. So let me show you how you can do this. So for this, you wanna go ahead and first open up settings. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna find general management. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on language. Now here you can go ahead and choose another language. So let's go ahead and choose Hindi. I'll go ahead and keep current. I don't wanna go ahead and set this as my default right now. So we'll go ahead and now select that and we'll go ahead and tap on apply. So once I do this, this will basically set the language of this phone to Hindi. So if I go and press apply, so now as you can see, everything is Hindi. Now I'll just go ahead and change this back to English. Now here you can also change the app languages as well to Hindi as well. So whatever language you prefer. As you can see, this will all follow the system default. So let's say for example, if I go ahead and change this to Hindi, and then we have basically changed our app language for Gmail to Hindi as well. So now if I go ahead and open up Gmail, you'll see that it all opens up in Hindi. Now let me just go ahead and change this back. So this way you can fix language mistakes instantly. This is perfect for learning a new language. It makes the phone usable for multiple people and there's no factory reset required. So it's fully reversible anytime. As you can see, I've switched from English to Hindi and Hindi to English. So this is a simple feature, but whenever you need it, it becomes a lifesaver. Now feature number two is your new lock screen clocks using the Movies widget. So let's be honest, most lock screen look boring nowadays. You buy a premium Samsung phone, but your lock screen looks the same as everyone else. So everyone's got the lock star, the clock faces, the normal Samsung adaptive clocks. Maybe you want something more modern, maybe something that reflects your personality. Maybe that's something that looks cool every time you pick up your phone and you wake it up. Like this, as you can see. So with the Movies widget, you can add animated, customizable clocks directly to your Samsung lock screen. So you can change your clock style, animation, colors, and size and positions. So here, let me show you how you can do this. So here, we'll go ahead and open up the Play Store. In the Play Store, we'll search for the app called Movies. So M-U-V-I-Z. So this is completely free. So it's called Movies, Widgets, Clock, and Music. Go ahead and install this, then go ahead and open it. Now in the app here, you get a selection of different clocks which you can apply. You can get an analog clock, you got this clock here, you got a wide range of clocks like this. You get this clock as well. So there's many different clocks to choose from. Now, once that's done, make sure you have good lock installed and the module called Lockstar. Go ahead and edit your home screen, tap on your lock screen, then go ahead and add a app widget. We'll go ahead and add a widget from the Movies app. We'll go ahead and a three by two, add the widget. Go ahead and choose a widget. And here you can go ahead and choose all of these different clocks. So I really like this one here. So we'll go ahead and add this. We'll go ahead and add the solid one. 
And then we'll go ahead and add, enlarge this and put it where we want. So right here, I'll go ahead and delete the previous one. And as you can see, I'll press done. And now we have a new clock face on our lock screen. So it integrates smoothly with your Samsung's lock screen system. It makes your phone look unique. You have premium animated visuals as well. There's no routing or risky mods involved in this. It's fully customizable and you get a first impression. So your lock screen is the first thing you see and you need to basically make it count. Now, feature number three is how to enable disabled Samsung apps. So many people disable Samsung apps thinking they're useless until one day a feature stops working or a setting disappears. Now you're confused, searching online, downloading random apps, when the solution was already on your phone. So Samsung allows you to view disabled apps and re-enable them anytime through settings. So these apps often support system features, security services, and device integration. So as an example, I can go ahead and open up my app drawer, and I can go ahead and browse through these and find out the apps where they've been disabled. So for example, Imaging Edge. I haven't used that app for ages, and that app has now been disabled by Samsung as it basically is in sleep state. So in order to enable this, I need to go ahead and long press on this, tap on the I. So this will take me into the app info. Now, if you cannot do this, you can go ahead and open up the settings, go to apps, and here you wanna go ahead and find that app again. So there's app, Imaging Edge. As you can see, it's currently in deep sleep mode. So we'll tap on this. Now to enable this app, we need to go ahead and tap on enable. And that's it. And once you do this, all the permissions will be restored for that app. And now you can go ahead and open the app. So this restores any missing features, or avoids unnecessary third-party apps. It keeps the system stable, basically official Samsung functionality. So it's basically easy on and off control. So sometimes the problem isn't missing apps, it's just the disabled ones. Now, feature number four is where you can encrypt your data backup. So you back up your phone thinking your data is safe. What if someone gets access to that backup file? So without encryption, your messages, photos, or private data can be restored by anyone. So Samsung allows you to encrypt your backup, meaning your data is protected with a password or encryption key. Even if someone steals your backup file, they cannot access it without your authorization. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll find account and backup. And here we'll go ahead and choose backup data. So as you can see, this will backup your data. However, this is not encrypted backup. So here we go back to the main menu. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and find security and privacy. Now next you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find more security settings. And here you wanna go ahead and find enhanced data protection. Now here you wanna go ahead and turn on encrypt backup data. Go ahead and enter your password for your Samsung account. Uh, once you do this, this will encrypt all your backup data for your Samsung phone. So this protects your sensitive information. It prevents data theft. It adds a strong privacy protection. This is essential for business or personal data. And it's basically a peace of mind. I don't know why Samsung hasn't turned this on by default. So backup without encryption is like locking your door but leaving the key outside. Now feature number five is where you turn on the theft protection. So your phone gets stolen or lost, your photos, bank apps, emails, and private messages are suddenly at risk. So basically panic sets in at this moment. So Samsung theft protection lets you track your phone's location, lock it remotely, display a message, and erase data if needed. So all controlled from another device. So let me show you how you can do this. So here, go ahead and turn on settings, scroll down, and here you wanna find security and privacy, now from here, go ahead and scroll down and find lost device protection. Tap on this and here find theft protection. Tap on this and here you need to go ahead and turn on these two features. So theft detection lock and offline device lock. So theft detection lock will lock the screen if it's detected that someone took your phone and ran away. As you can see, someone abruptly takes your device, then speeds away and your screen locks. So I'll turn that on. Now you wanna go ahead and turn on this offline device lock. So it locks the screen if your phone loses its network connection. So if someone basically takes out the SIM from your phone, it'll basically lock it. And also you wanna go ahead and turn on remote lock as you can go ahead and log on to a website where it says android.com forward slash lock. 
and you can go ahead and enter in your device phone number to lock its screen. No sign in or Google account is needed. So this protects your personal and financial data. It increases recovery chances, stops unauthorized access. It works even if your SIM is changed and you have a massive peace of mind by turning this on. So this is not optional, but this is essential. Now feature number six is your pin protection for powering off your phone. So a thief steals your phone and immediately turns it off. So as you know, tracking is gone. So most people don't realize how easy this is. So Samsung lets you require a pin or a password before powering off your phone. That means if someone has your phone, they can't turn it off without your code. They can only take out that SIM card. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, you wanna go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Now from here, you wanna find secure lock settings. Go ahead and enter in your pin number. And now here, you wanna go ahead and turn on lock network and security. So this will prevent Wi-Fi and mobile data from being turned off when your phone is locked. So find my mobile phone uses these connections to locate and control your phone when it's lost. So make sure that it's turned on. So now when someone steals your phone, the first thing he or she will do is try to turn off your phone. And as you can see, before you turn off your phone, it'll basically ask for a biometrics or you need to enter a pin to turn it off. Now, if that person doesn't have this biometrics or the pin number, he or she won't be able to turn off the phone at all. He needs to return back to the lock screen. Now, the only option is to either throw this phone away or just give it back to the owner. So this keeps your tracking active. It prevents security bypass. It adds a strong theft barrier. It works silently in your background and it's highly underrated feature. So this one feature alone can make a huge difference and you can get your phone back. Now, lastly, feature number seven is where you turn off USB connection when locked. So your phone screen breaks completely, no touch, no display. You think all your data is lost. So when USB connections are allowed while locked, Samsung phones can output video to a TV or a monitor. You can use mouse and keyboard and you can access apps visually. So this allows you to pack up your data to the cloud even with a broken screen. So you need to make sure that this feature is turned off. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down and find security and privacy. Next, scroll down and find more security settings. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find this option called block USB connections while locked. So you wanna make sure this is turned off. So as you know, basically this does protect your data, prevents USB devices from connecting. However, let's say your screen got damaged. Now, since your screen is damaged, and the repair cost is really high for repairing an LCD, you wanna go ahead and maybe buy a new phone and transfer all your data from this phone to another phone. Now, if this feature is turned on, you won't be able to use your USB. As you know, when you turn this feature on, this will basically block any USB connection. So no data transfer will be allowed. You can only charge your phone. And also from your USB-C, you can also output video signal. So if you go ahead and turn this off and your screen is damaged, you can go ahead and insert a USB-C and connect it to a TV. From there, you can go ahead and start backing up your data. So this saves data from a broken phone. It lets you connect a TV using USB-C. It's an emergency access method, works when touch fails, and you have data recovery without any repair. So this feature can literally save years of your memory. So those were the seven Samsung features you should enable today. So if this video helped you even a little, smash the like button. Remember, 300 likes is our goal. And please, only 13.5% of you are subscribed. Subscribing is free. It's one click just down here. It helps me continue bringing you new and valuable content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The more you support, the more YouTube shares it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.